Hi, this is Bedrest Coach Darlene Turner Lee, owner and founder of Mamas on Bedrest and Beyond. And today we are talking about hydration in pregnancy. As you can see, I'm not dressed to my usual standard, but I was out walking this morning because here in Texas, at least in Austin, it is already a balmy 81 degrees and it is just 10 o'clock. These are our, let me see if I can do it. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. These are our expected highs over the next week. And I don't know if you can see it. We're going to crest at 108 by next Tuesday. So um, I'm finding that I'm going to have to get up earlier and earlier each day to be able to get in my walk or cycle. But as I was walking today and just kind of sweating and feeling kind of dewy, I realized, geez, you know, this could be really dangerous for pregnant women. And it made me think about what I wanted to talk about. To pregnant women about in terms of hydration. So why is hydration important during pregnancy? I mean, I think most of us intuitively know that with the increasing needs on mom's body to just grow a whole nother person, she needs more water. Additionally, those needs are going to include growing an amniotic sac that contains about a quart of water that's going to surround the baby. She's also taking in water and producing water that's going to become the fluid system of her baby. So hydration for mom is not only important for her own health, but for the development of her baby. Um, in terms of mom's own health, water is going to flush all the toxins and waste products and what have you from her cells while also bringing nutrients into her cells so that you know she's well nutriented as well as her baby. You know, we have to have adequate hydration so she has an adequate um, blood fluid system to take to her baby. Um, adequate hydration or proper fluid levels in mama also um, aid in proper function of her liver, her kidneys, and as we said before, in the development of her baby. Again, if mom is not well hydrated, her blood becomes what we call viscous or thick, and then that leaves her... Um, at risk for clots, she doesn't produce, not produce, she doesn't transport fluids and nutrients adequately, not only to her body, but to her baby's body. So hydration is really important here. Um, and on the other side of things, once mom already has a baby, she has to stay well hydrated so that she will um, have adequate milk production. Whoop. Excuse me while I drop my notes. Um, if mom does not drink enough water, what happens? Well, first and foremost, um, mom, if she's not drinking enough water, she may feel fatigued. Now, this is one of the first things I say to moms, even mamas on bed rest, if they're not drinking enough water. I mean, if they're feeling fatigued, oftentimes it's because they're not drinking enough water. With mamas on bed rest, it's often because like moms will say, well, I don't want to have to um, get up a lot to go to the bathroom. They told me I should stay on bed rest. Um, whether you have bathroom privileges or bedside commode, whatever, it is so important that you keep drinking water because you have to flush your system. You have to have water moving through your system and um, bathing your kidneys. It needs to come in. It needs to go out to keep everything functioning. So please, please, please drink enough water. Um, if you don't drink enough water, you also become constipated. Again, just as it bathes the kidneys, it goes through your digestive tract, aiding in digestion, but also aiding in pulling out the nutrients from your foods and then getting rid of wastes and toxins. When you don't drink enough water, your body will still create waste, but then it has a harder time moving it out and then you have constipation. And you have to remember when you're pregnant, your bowels slow down anyway and this is a protective mechanism so that your body will have the time it needs to extract every last drop of nutrient from your food so that it can nutrient you and your baby. So you're already on a slower digestive speed, if you will. If you are dehydrated, that's only going to further slow things down and then constipation becomes a real issue. As we've already talked about, you have to have adequate hydration in order to bathe your kidneys because of all that's changing in your body anyway, pregnant women have an increased risk of urinary tract infections. If you are not drinking enough water, that increase goes up even more. And a urinary tract infection while you're pregnant is just miserable. 
Um, many women talk about having various cramps, leg cramps, um, body cramps while they're pregnant. Again, try drinking more water. It's not the be-all end-all. Some of it just happens as a result of the added hormones, the added weight, and just how your body shifts while you're pregnant. But many times it's also due to lack of um, there being enough water in your system. So again, drink enough water. Now, um, there are a couple of real serious reasons why you need to drink enough water. And the first being that women who are dehydrated are also at risk for preterm labor. Now this should get your attention, especially being a mama on bed rest. What we don't want is preterm labor. We don't want you having this baby too soon. So please, please, please drink water. And if you feel like you're a little dehydrated, you probably already are. A lot of people will say, well, I don't feel thirsty. Waiting for when you're thirsty means you're already at a point where you're dehydrated. So you need to be drinking water even when you don't feel thirsty. I tell people just have a water bottle. Like I have one right here and I have um, some electrolyte mix in it because I was just out walking. But have it right there where you can just sip it throughout the day. Um, a lot of women on bed rest, I'll say to them, get one of those big two liter um, bottles. And if you drink that through the day, then you're pretty much good. Now, no, I'm not going to say sit there and chug the whole thing. But if you have a big two liter bottle, say you wake up at eight in the morning and you drink that through the day, so say eight at night, you're probably getting enough water in for the day. Finally, um, when you're dehydrated or don't have enough fluid on board in the form of water, and I'm, we're going to talk about that in a second, but in the form of water, you also have increased risk for miscarriage. So take one second here. As I've said, um, do not wait until you feel thirsty. Thirst is, it is a defense mechanism for your body to let your body know that it needs more fluid, but it's also an indicator that you're already well behind where you need to be. So how much water do you need? And it, you know, people say, well, why are you telling women to drink one of those big two liter bottles? Well, because you need eight to 12 glasses of um, water daily and those are eight ounce glasses so like a little juice glass or you know if you look at a measuring cup that's um, one cup that's eight ounces uh, this here my water bottle is about 16 ounces and I've already drank about eight ounces this morning and I'm gonna drink this and I'll drink some more because I was outside it's already really hot where I am and I was really sweaty while I was out walking which brings me to the next thing. If you're in a warm climate, whether you're on bed rest or not, you need to drink more water because you're going to lose water through perspiration. And um, I mean, normally you'll lose water. You lose water when you breathe. You lose water as you move around. So if you are, ooh, this is really weird. If you are, in fact, um, that was really strange. If you are, in fact, um, out outside, or just in a warmer climate or the temperature has changed. You need to increase your um, water intake. And again, I say keep water by your bed. Don't try and chug a whole two liters in like 10 minutes. There's no need to do that. It's going to make you feel horrible. Just keep a water bottle by your bed. Drink it. A little sips throughout the day. Now, as I was saying, I um, have an electrolyte mix in my water bottle here because I was out and it was really hot and I'm kind of replacing my fluids and electrolytes. I don't want to get cramps in my legs and such, which could happen because I would do a five mile walk in the heat. But um, for mamas on bed rest, the other thing you want to be aware of, you want to avoid things that are going to dehydrate you first and foremost, caffeinated drinks. So we're talking about coffee, some teas, um, many of our soft drinks. So um, I, I don't recommend to my mamas that they drink coffee or soft drinks. That's just me. They What they choose to do is what they choose to do. Many obstetricians and midwives are like, oh, it's fine. It is fine. It's not going to kill you or anything else. But I am of the mindset of if it's not good for you and it's not really essential, why bother? I mean, I know a lot of people love that morning cup of coffee, and I'm not going to take it away from you if you have to have that one cup of coffee, okay? But if you are in bed rest, if you have had preterm labor, those right there are reasons enough to not be drinking coffee right now.
what you do is what you do. These are my personal opinions. These are the things I talk to women about when I talk to them about being on bed rest. With those two strikes against you, why add in the caffeine? Again, it's your decision. Speak with your obstetrician or midwife about it. But on the scheme of things, where it's not essential and where, um, where uh, I don't know why this is like doing this, but I don't think you want to see my face up close, where it's not essential and where it's not um, something that's, you know, going to make your baby grow or not grow or what have you. Yeah, why do it? Same kind of thing with sugary things. Um, a lot of people say, well, I'm drinking juice. Well, one, juice is good. It's a good thing. But you're also taking in calories. A lot of eight ounce glasses of juice are 140 calories. If you drink eight eight ounce glasses of juice, that's 140 times eight, which is eight twelve, so what, 96, 104, 100. So that's like an extra 1200 calories just out of juice right there. You know, do you really need to do that? We also know that the best thing for your body is water. It is what your body needs. It's what your body most easily converts and uses for all its processes. When you drink juice, the body has to extract the fruit juice, the fruit out of the juice for the water. And it's extra steps. Just drink water. Um, not saying that you can't have juice, but still get in your 8 to 12 glasses of eight to twelve eight ounce glasses of water a day and then have some juice too so you know you have to try to work that out but these are the things that kind of came to me as I get up walking you know as I'm getting sweaty and I'm thinking whoa you know I'm really warm and I'm not pregnant how is this affecting someone who is pregnant and then how does that affect a mama on bed rest so I want to leave you with this thought bed rest or not, your water needs are increased while you're pregnant. You want to take in 8 to 12 8 ounce glasses of water daily. You don't want to do it all at once. In fact, the best thing for your body is to spread it out during the day so that you're constantly bathing your body with fluid, that it's going in and that it's coming out, you know, i.e. through the kidneys and through urination. You want to be sure to take in enough because it's going to aid with digestion. It's going to prevent constipation. It's going to um, help with liver function, kidney function. Um, one of the things I noticed, I hadn't drank water before I went walking, and my hands were swollen as I was walking. And it's kind of a normal response of the way your fluids um, move through your body when you're exercising. A lot of times people will say, you know, I don't wear, they'll, they won't wear their wedding band or something when they're exercising because your fingers swell. This is also true when you're pregnant. Your fluid levels and things will change because your body is attempting to maintain enough fluid for your body function and to grow your baby. That's why you've got to put more in because otherwise you end up with a lot of excess fluid and swelling. A lot of women who will have swollen ankles will say, well, I don't want to drink more water. It's going to make my ankles swell. Actually, that's not the case. The more water you can take in, it'll help flush out the extra excess water which is in the cells which is often containing waste and toxins that the body's trying to get rid of so you want to drink more water um other things we just want to highlight and being on bed rest we want to avoid preterm labor and we want to avoid miscarriage and these are things that making sure you're hydrated i'm not saying that drinking water is going to keep you from having your baby early hear that that is not the case, but it is something that can help. If you've had problems with preterm labor or miscarriage, one thing that you, mama, can do is make sure that you drink enough water and have enough fluids on board so that at least that function is going okay. Other stuff, you know, we'll leave that to the obstetricians and midwives, but you drink enough water. So this is my little primer on hydration. Yes, I look a little bit different, but I'm kind of hiding behind my hat because I have no makeup on. And I wanted to bring this to you because the sun, it's heating up already. If you live in the southern states, it's warm. When I left Massachusetts a few days ago, it was going up to 100. I think it's since come down. But here in Texas, where I am, we're heading up into the 100s 
going to be 108 by early next week. Even if you're inside, the heat, you know, we're air conditioning and everything else, but heat is an issue. And please, please, please stay hydrated. Even if you're on bed rest, you are going to be going out to go to the doctor, what have you. Please stay hydrated. Take a water bottle with you. Um, you know, be careful going from just the parking lot to the doctor's office. One, you haven't been up and around a lot. Legs aren't as strong as they used to be. You're not going to move as fast as you used to be. You're going to be out for just a little bit. Your body's going to react. You're going to sweat. Keep some water on hand. Very, very important. Stay hydrated. Think about it. Water, 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 water. So this is it for today. I'm Darlene Turner Lee, bed rest coach, encouraging you to drink 8 to 12 8 ounce glasses of water daily. And that's all I have. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.